So hello and welcome, I'm Frederick Dunn, and today I'm going to show you one way to get honeycomb out of your beehive. So this is comb honey, this is in foundationless frames, and these are shallow frames that came from a shallow super on a standard Langstroth 10 frame hive. Now these are going to be imperfect, but they're going to serve the purpose. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm also going to introduce you to a new tool that I have that I've had on the shelf for over a year and I've been anxious to use it, so here's my chance. We're gonna make comb honey, and comb honey, by the way, is really, really popular. So I'm gonna use the Pierce comb cutter. And they have two different sizes, I have them both. This is the two by four, there's also a four by four. And it tells you right here, right on it, turn it on max for four minutes, and immediately turn it down towards the cutting zone. And these things are really well made, 100% made in the United States of America. And what I'm showing you is model number 1015. And they sell them at Better B, of course. Now, Better B did not pay me to promote this. They are not giving me anything for mentioning them. I believe this is copper and then it's clad. So it's going to carry the heat really well, and it's going to cut through this comb nice. Even the weldments uh, look good to me here. So uh, it's going to last you forever. Let's just say that. And they currently, as of tonight, September the 28th, they sell for $194. So we've had it at max for four minutes. We're going to turn it back down to the cutting zone. You're also going to need a tray, like a cookie tray, with a nice standoff, because we want the honey to drip off from around the cut comb. And uh, we don't want any runny honey to be inside the containers that we're going to put it in. So just like the comb cutters come in 2x4, they also come in a 4x4. Four four, so we're doing 2x4 now. And these are the containers, food grade of course. And you're going to put your cut comb right inside. I'm doing these for my own family, but I thought I would share with you. And you can certainly sell these. There is a demand. So you might wonder what even the comb cases go for. And they're $1.44 a piece if you buy a pack of 20. And again, from Better B, not sponsored. I just happen to buy them from them. So here it is. You could take a long, sharp knife and cut completely around the interior and drop this whole thing onto your rack there and then cut it. But I'm going to cut it straight out of the frame and I'm going to leave the residual beeswax on the frame for next year. So it's pretty simple to do. Let's get in here and we're going to make the cut comb. So we're going to turn it down to the cutting zone. We've had this on for four minutes. Since it is from five to seven, I decided to put it on six, middle of the road. But I'll tell you ahead of time, I did end up turning it down a little lower to five. So let's see how well it's going to cut this beeswax comb. There it goes. Nice and clean. Now you control the temperature of that, and the comb was at room temperature, so it's about 65 degrees Fahrenheit. If it were really cold, I suppose things might be different. Room temperature is good, and it drops right out. So I did turn it down to 5, because I noticed a little bit of sizzling there on the surface. And uh, it was more than enough to go right through the beeswax, the honey, and everything else. So there's no smell. That lets me think that that's too hot. And of course, it's only contacting the surfaces around the outside of the comb honey. And uh, I think it's good. So we're going to cut all the way to the very end there. So you might be wondering how many of those could you get out of a shallow frame. You get eight of them. If this were a better drawn out frame end to end, you would get eight full two by four cut comb pieces out of it. That's pretty good for one shallow super frame. So, and what I did is I juxtaposed these. So when I put them in on the hive that I put these on, I had foundation and then I had foundationless, foundation and foundationless. So I checkerboarded them uh, just to make sure that I wouldn't get any wonky comb here. But you know what? The irregular surfaces actually look interesting to me. And remember, this is made by the bees. I don't think it should look perfectly uniform. And by having it here on the tray, uh, we'll let the honey drip off 
and onto the tray, which you can collect later, of course. Now I'm touching this with my fingers. I suppose if you're going to sell it, you want to be wearing some food service gloves or something like that. But uh, other than my grandson wanting to give this away to all of his friends, uh, this is going to be for family this time around because we're just fooling with it a little bit here. But if you were looking at this for profit, I did look that up and an 8 ounce cut comb 2x4 is averaging $14 a piece. I'm surprised by that. I was thinking maybe 5 or $6 a piece. But if you did the math, let's just say they're $14 a piece and if you get 8 of them out of a frame and then there's 10 of these frames in one shallow super, I don't have to tell you that that's over $1,100 in honey sales right there. And comb honey and chunk honey are things that I'm getting a lot of requests for. So anyway, uh, to clean it up, just heat it up a little bit, use a cotton cloth, wipe it right down, and it cleaned off really nice. So I'm very happy with that comb cutter, and you can see that my comb is less than perfect. We would like it to be, you know, an inch and a quarter thick because we've got both sides of the comb here, so it is capped, and you can see all the edges. What do you think you're going to do with this after you put it in your containers? Well, for one, if you're going to sell it, you have to put a label on it. I don't know what your states are doing, but my state says you have to identify yourself, contact information, and of course the weight. And these are averaging 8 ounces for the thick ones and the thin ones. Um, they're wide and varied because some of the cells weren't even full. So for demonstration purposes, it's okay, but I guess this is not top tier stuff. But I think you'd have to break it down so you can charge by the ounce. Some of the honey was nice and dark like this. And we're looking at the results of just uh, three frames here. And we finished off the rest, but I did like seeing the different colors, different shapes. Some of them are incomplete and those with open cells like these right here. It is beeswax. It's fresh beeswax this year and it's only been used in the honey super. So we'll be putting these in jars and pouring honey around them. So that's the difference between comb honey, which is completely faced and capped on the lower brackets there, and then chunk honey, which is what we would drop into a jar, fill it up with uh, the honey that we're going to pour in. Of course, we did extract the honey from the frames that had foundation, and it's fantastic. So you have your options. You can make chunk honey, comb honey, whatever you want to do. And then uh, kids love to chew it. Then after you're done, you just put it outside. In this case, it's sitting in a hive butler. And the bees are going to clean it up. We're coming up on prime robbing season around here. And again, I, I hope I mentioned it, but it's September the 28th. So this is the time to do that. The other thing is you want to make sure that once you've cut your comb honey, that you cycle it into your freezer for about 48 hours. And the reason you do that is to make sure that you don't have wax moth eggs or some other parasite living in that. There would be nothing worse, I could imagine, than selling somebody a piece of comb honey only to have worms break out in it. So 48 hours. The other thing is, if you're not going to sell it for a long time, if you're hanging on to the stuff until spring, keep it in your freezer. It will not crystallize while it's in the freezer. So that's good news too. So you get these cleaned up. We've extracted from the frames that had foundation on them, and they're going to be stored away after being cleaned up by the bees in Hive Butler Tote. So, and then we'll put them back in uh, the frames for the spring. I hope you found this enjoyable. Think about cut comb next year. Fantastic. Thanks for watching.